everyone welcome back to my channel have you ever wondered how surviving a beauty pageant can help you survive med school so i never thought that it was possible but it actually did help me becoming Miss South Africa and Miss World and surviving that whole experience helped me to survive med school after that. Firstly, being Miss South Africa and Miss World taught me how to manage my time. Being a Miss South Africa or Miss World, I really had to learn how to prioritize, how to manage my time. And as a med school with a baby, with a newborn baby, it helped me immensely to know this is what's important at this moment and I'm going to focus on this for now. I also learned how to speak in public while being Miss South Africa. I was forced to learn how to speak English and, and how to comfortably speak in public. And that helped me so much when I went back to studying because as a medical student, Student, you have to present your patients in front of tens or even 15 students, two to three doctors, nurses, everyone. So it is quite intimidating, but my public speaking skills came in very, very handy when I became a medical student. As a Miss South Africa and Miss World, I found myself in situations where I felt uncomfortable, where I was out of my comfort zone and I had to learn to deal with that. I had to learn from those and the exact same way I learned from, from those situations and um, started to feel comfortable within the discomfort is what helped me immensely when I became a medical student because I was also faced with things that I've never seen before, with things I didn't know how to deal with, but I started feeling comfortable within the discomfort. Every title has something that is expected of the individual who has the title. As a Miss World, there is expected of you to act a certain way, to speak a certain way, and you have to live up to that expectation. You have to just get out of your comfort zone and do it. And as a doctor, there are certain things expected of you. You have to address a patient in a certain way. You have to have a certain amount of knowledge, and that is the expectation. And you have to just live up to it. Uh, there's no other way. You have to have certain marks to be, to be able to become a doctor. So dealing with that, the pressure of living up to expectations is very similar between Miss South Africa or Miss World and being a doctor. I know that comparing a beauty pageant with med school is just uh, so weird and, and so unusual, but I think the thing that I want to say uh, by telling you all of these stories and making the comparison is that it doesn't matter what you go through in your life, all of the highlights, uh, all of the difficulties that you face, it is setting you up for the future and you are able to learn from it and to implement it in a different setting, a different phase of your life. Thank you very much for watching the video. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Have you ever excelled in something or achieved something and realized after looking back that it was actually something else that taught you lessons that came in very helpful and handy in, in this achievement that you had? I would love to hear from you.